Hello, welcome to the Oshkosh Poet Laureate podcast. I'm Tom Cannon, the inaugural Poet Laureate. Uh, I've been thinking about how our culture works right now. Uh, with social media, people are attaining power and money over us by making us angry. That anger divides us. Making people angry simply works for people and organizations that don't want us to think reasonably. Facebook makes money and political groups fire up their base. However, what is our part in this? We jump into the anger with both feet. I know I did. I shared the memes and the posts. I came up with plenty of my own. And often it was for the most childish of reasons. My friends liked me doing it. So when I came across something that would make them laugh and agree with, I was motivated to find some more. I encouraged my Facebook friends to do the same. Basically, we became middle schoolers giggling by our lockers. Though I saw it as standing up to bullies, the motivation of bullying was the same. I wanted to make certain people steaming mad. And in some cases, I wanted to hurt their feelings. All it did was make, a, it, make it us versus them. Now, I've tried to curb my behavior. I don't think I've changed my mind on any issue. And no one was going to change their mind from what I said. Now, I am afraid of not speaking up and letting people say hateful things and think that I agree with them. However, I am more I have become more afraid of the division caused by anger. It also has been my experience that writing poems about bringing people together does two things. First of all, it puts me in the mind of seeing both sides. I actually spend some brain power trying to see why they believe what they believe. At the very least, I have gotten through the rhetoric. The ideas that are are put forth on social media to people fire up is the top of what they believe. And once you dig a little deeper, I think that there's more common ground. And we can see that everybody just kind of want to help people out. We just have different ideas on it. The second thing um, that thinking about poetry and politics it has helped me think clear about my own views. I could eliminate some things that didn't make sense. You know, they shouldn't have made sense until I had to write them down and put them in a concrete form that I can see. Uh, and whether it is journaling or writing a poem, and when the stars are rhymed, a line just right. I can do both. Your thoughts become more intentional. I really got creative in my Facebook fights, and it was fun, but it was also a never-ending cortisol dump. Once the city of Oshkosh gave me the goal of bringing people together, I was like, oops, I guess I should not have applied. However, writing and poetry led me to a new way of thinking. So far, I have not... Uh, written a poem that's going to change anybody's mind. I probably haven't even written a poem on the subject of politics that anyone will want to read. After all, I don't want to be didactic. The best I can do is put together some things to think about. And this was one of the first poems that came to me. The Bet. We are mad. They've told us to be. There's a bet on you. A bankroll on me. They've got us good and wild. Needing a relentless fight. Is there a winner in sight? No one is even keeping score. The money's made at the door. In the ba these backroom brawls that have tumbled into the halls, they tell us to drink anger hot and we comply, knowing full well the danger, knowing it is, simply, it is simple to deny their lies and our own cries. Thank you for uh, listening to me. And... Uh, if you have any comments, I'd love to hear them.